Carson Newman takes down Newberry, 86-67 to 67 here with the head coach, Mike Mincy, Andrew Rogers for the Eagles Sports Network. Coach, uh, a good end to the first quarter, a good start to the second quarter, got the lead to double figures, and Newberry got never uh, again within single digits. Uh, what did you see your team do well today, uh, and what is a 19-point sack victory? Uh, it's always good to win, uh, for sure, especially when you've lost three of your last four games. I don't think we played particularly well. Um, we just can't seem to put it together for whatever reason. Uh, I'm glad they found Lindsey. Lindsey went 9 of 13 from the field, made up all, all of her free throws for 23 points. So proud of that effort. Um, but then after that, mostly proud of the bench. You know, I think in the first half, the bench was shooting really well from the field. Um, and we've been looking for that spark. We've needed that spark. Uh, and I'm not going to name them all, but, 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 but three of them were freshmen and they came in and, and, and took the lid off the basket and, and, and made some shots and, um, and kind of was helped us in that first half to get the lead to where it was. Uh, you mentioned one of those freshmen, Matty Knuckles, was really good today. Second leading score, 14 points, uh, and did it on both ends. Had three blocks, five rebounds. What did you like uh, from what she was able to provide backing up Lindsay? It seemed like Lindsay got going and then Matty picked up uh, her scoring load. In, in yeah, they're the two different end. types of post players for sure. Um, you know, Matty can go inside and out a little bit more, but ever since – she came back from Christmas break. Uh, I feel like that she's been providing a lot in practice. Um, certainly have seen glimpses of really good stuff um, at Glenville, certainly at LMU, and, and, and now in this game. You know, this was kind of the coming out party, I guess you could say, to get back home and, and to see her find the bucket. But she's just one of the smartest players we have. She's got a great IQ, a great sense of basketball, and, and I think that's – in large part, I think that's one of the things that uh, frustrates me is we're missing that, that um, I don't want to call it IQ, it's just a sense of what to do, when to do it, and how to play. Uh, and you mentioned the bench points, season high 41 off the bench. What does that tell you as a coach uh, when you see that type of total? But then also, it's not just Maddie, it's a bunch of different uh, younger players making an impact. Yeah, there was a practice before, uh, before the uh, LMU game where uh, we had all the young kids on the same group, seven of them. And uh, they kind of came out of their shell a little bit and, and, and played more up to their potential. And we've been waiting to try to give them more opportunities. And, uh, you know, I feel like that some of the top players, you know, ha has forced our hand a little bit that, um, that we need to give them those opportunities and give them more extended minutes. Prior to the day, I was two or three minutes in the first half. They don't see the floor in the second half kind of a thing. And, and so Dusty and I, could, or Coach Nichols and I, decided we, gonna, we need to do better. And we got to find some scoring punch from the bench because um, scoring the basketball of late has not been something we do very well. So um, I was very happy and pleased that we could find the numbers we did off the bench today. Uh, Lindsay was great again. She'll finish with 55 points this week. I think she missed six shots too. Uh, how important was her performance this week and how important is her presence uh, as this season goes on to give that inside scoring th threat so efficiently? Well, uh, up at LMU, if we don't have Lindsey, I'm not sure how many points we score, um, especially with Braylon being under the weather. Uh, today, knowing that we had that presence that we could go to to get a really high, efficient shot out of Lindsey, plus her five free throws, um, you know, I'm not sure that we get to the 86 number that we got. So uh, that's one thing that we were missing last year when we were struggling to score. I mean, we're three of 11 from the three. Two of those were freshmen uh, that came off the bench. I'm sorry. Yeah, three of them. Two of them were. Yep. Fred Campbell hit the other one. It's just not what I'm used to seeing. And uh, Coach Nichols and I just need to coach better. Immediately after the game, we've talked about the bench points, but what else uh, did you like from what your team did in this win today? Uh, I'm happy we won. I'm happy the bench came and provided a spark. A lot of what we've already talked about. I, I think, uh, you know, I, I want to say, you know, Michaela played a pretty efficient game. She only took four shots. She's all over the place. She made all of her free throws. I mean, it's six, five rebounds, four assists, one turnover, over three steals, and 20 minutes of action. You know, that's good stuff. Um, and it's she didn't try to take a bunch of shots that maybe she didn't feel comfortable making. So, um, but I do feel good about our bench and, and where they came to play. And uh, I think if we can continue to, to explore that route, um, we might get more, more points on the board perhaps.